If you're planning on running virtual machines on Google Cloud, you're going to need Compute Engine. What is it? How does it work? Find out in this video. Now, before we get into it, let's quickly touch on one thing that's always top of mind, price. One of the benefits of Compute Engine is that you don't need to pour all your money into it up front. There is a cost, so don't get too excited, but we'll get to that in a minute. The price is worth it. With Compute Engine, you get thousands of virtual CPUs for unmatched speed and performance. Not a bad deal if you ask me. Okay, so Compute Engine lets us run virtual machines with unmatched speed and performance. But what even is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is just a computer that runs in the cloud rather than a physical server. You can adjust CPU, memory, storage, and operating system just like a physical computer. So whatever your needs are, you can configure your virtual machines to meet those demands. Now the Google Cloud Console is sort of like the control room for your Google Cloud environment. And it's where you can create virtual machines. Virtual machines can run Linux and Windows Server images provided by Google or any customized versions of these images. Used to working with something different? No problem. You can basically build and run images of your own custom operating systems, so there are tons of options. Whatever works best for you. Now, maybe you're impatient like me, and you just want to get up and running fast. Well, luckily, we can choose from pre-configured virtual machine instances from the Google Cloud Marketplace. Most of these packages don't even have a cost associated, which is a thing of beauty. However, if we go with a third-party option, there will typically be a cost. But they all show estimates of our monthly charges, so we shouldn't have any shockers on our credit card bill. No shockers that are Google Cloud related anyway. All right, all right. So on the topic of pricing, Compute Engine isn't completely free, but it's well worth the price. How does Compute Engine bill you? You pay by the second, and there's a one minute minimum. But there's good news, discounts. Everyone loves a good discount. Sustained use discounts start to apply automatically to virtual machines the longer they run. So each VM that runs for more than 25% of a month, Compute Engine automatically applies a discount for every additional minute. Committed use discounts are also a thing. If your workloads are stable and predictable, you can purchase a specific amount of vCPUs and memory upfront with a 57% discount applied. But there is a catch. In return, you'll need to commit to using Compute Engine for either one or three years. And then there are preemptible and spot VMs. Let's say you have a workload that doesn't require a human to sit and wait for it to finish, such as a batch job analyzing a large data set. You can save money, in some cases up to 90%, so we're talking some serious savings, by choosing preemptible or spot VMs to run the job. Now, preemptible and spot VMs are different from an ordinary compute engine VM in only one way. If you choose to use them, you'll need to make sure that your job can be stopped and restarted. It's not going to happen automatically, as it does with compute engine VMs. And as you might have guessed, spot VMs and preemptible VMs are also not the same thing. Spot VMs have a few more features, for example, they can run up to 24 hours at a time, and the pricing is the same for both. In terms of storage, with Compute Engine you're going to get high throughput without having to worry about specific options or machine types, and you're going to get it for free. So there's that. And finally, you'll only pay for what you need with custom machine types. Compute Engine lets you choose the machine properties of your instances, like the number of virtual CPUs and the amount of memory, by using a set of predefined machine types or by creating your own custom machine types. Now, have you ever had your app crash because of a traffic spike that came out of nowhere? Compute Engine has a feature called auto scaling, where VMs can be added or subtracted based on load metrics, automatically adjusting to handle any load. With Compute Engine, you can in fact configure very large VMs, which are great for workloads such as in-memory datasets and CPU-intensive analytics. But most Google Cloud customers start off with scaling out, not up. The maximum number of CPUs per VM is tied to its machine family, and is also constrained by the quota available to the user, which is zone-dependent. Okay, so that's the rundown on Compute Engine and auto-scaling. But Auto-scaling is only one part of the equation. 
The other part is balancing the incoming traffic. Luckily, Google's VPC supports several different kinds of load balancing, which we'll cover in the next video.